Hey folks, it's Mike with Chasing Trail. Back out at Copley on a Friday, beautiful Friday. It is sunny, 75 degrees. Another perfect day. I got Glide done with me. I don't know if you can see him in my rear view there. We just met uh, three other gentlemen at the trailhead. They're going to be heading out. We might all just ride together. But I'm almost certain they're going to be considerably faster than me anyway. So we're going to go ahead and get a head start. I have no doubt they're going to catch up in short order. Back on the Little Miss Sunshine today. She seems to be running great thus far. I believe the root of my issues was a clogged inline fuel filter. It's possible my jets were a little bit clogged too. I did pull the whole carburetor apart and cleaned it all out. But that inline fuel filter was definitely restricting fuel flow. It didn't look bad, but it was. As soon as I, I put the car back together, hooked everything back up, it was still not running right. Bypassed the inline fuel filter and then it was running perfectly again. Um, I had adjusted the fuel mixture screw, so I had to play around with that. I tested a whole lot of different settings and it ended up being best screwed all the way in. I had thought that backing it out was going to allow more fuel, but it seemed to run better and be popping a lot less with it screwed all the way in. So I don't know if it's a, if screwing it in adds fuel or adds air but it's running great now however the last thing that doesn't make sense is I'm still in the stock vacuum operated petcock and it'll only work on prime which is just free flow it's not it means no vacuum it just gravity feeding when I set it to the on position, which would rely on the vacuum function, it does not work. It runs out of gas. So it's almost like turning the, the petcock off. It doesn't have an off position. But on essentially is functioning as off. And I have to turn it to prime for it to run. I'm not sure why. I cleaned all the uh, fuel lines out. I cleaned all the vacuum hoses out. Blew them out with compressed air. I don't believe there's a vacuum issue. The, the gas cap looks fine. I'm not sure what else to test for that, but ultimately as long as it's running, I don't really care. For now, anyway. If I sort the title issues out, I will be replacing this gas tank anyway, which will put a different petcock on there not it'll not be a vacuum pet cock it'll be like the raptor style that most people put on here so anyway i'm glad it's running again in fact it's running perfectly no hesitations no missing nothing feels really good i didn't want to go too far off the beaten path today until i'm 100 percent confident in it or at least like 99 but thus far it feels really good here's the big water bar let's see if I hit it right oh big air holy shit huge that's the biggest air I've ever got off that jump oh the pond's completely dried up Almost all the snowpack has already melted on all the mountains. If we don't get some rain soon, we are screwed. The mega drought continues. Here comes the old creek crossing. Let's see if I don't stall it this time. Motherfucker.
Nice. I didn't stall it this time. It's shallower, shallower. Yeah. Should have worn my warm weather gear. Hello, dear. Sorry. Sorry, dear. It's okay. Have I ever mentioned that the DRZ is a fun bike to ride? Because it really is. Nope, it's not as good as the KTM. But it's pretty good and it can be had for a fraction of the price. So I have my street bike listed for sale. My 2020 BMW R1250R. The best street bike I have ever ridden. But I'm just gravitating more and more towards dual sports. Even for primarily street usage, I just think they're a lot of fun to ride. And when that sells, not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet. I might wait until I figure out the title situation with this. But given that I'm not a very patient person, there's a good chance I won't wait. The two bikes I'm most likely to, I'm looking at hardest next are getting another DR650, setting it up for like 70, 30 street. Very similar to the previous one I owned. Or KTM 690 or Husky 701. Those bikes will be more expensive to purchase, but I'll need to do hardly anything to them. So one thing this is doing that's odd, see there it goes down to idle. So after I come off throttle, it doesn't drop to idle right away. If anyone can explain that to me, I'd be curious to know why. We're gonna take a little break here. Be back shortly. We're back. We are. Uh, we're gonna head up Trail 17 here, also known as the Chute. There's a gentleman we met up with. We're gonna go up 76, which is just to the right over there. It runs parallel. It's single track. Don and I did that last time. It was not bad. I'm not super eager to do that one again on the DRZ. Next time I come out on the KTM, I'll definitely give it a go. It was quite a workout on the DRZ. Yeah, I remember being on the KTM and all this stuff felt very playful. It was just hopping over all these water bars. DRZ can do it, but you definitely feel the weight. I would definitely benefit from a stiffer shock spring on here too. I'm remembering now the other thing that made the DRZ tricky on that single track was this tall first gear all right so i think we said we would see it's not going to idle right away still high still high still high now it's an idle down this way, huh? yeah there may be too much snow to even get up there if i see snow i'm turning around i'm not doing that again but we could go we can go and if it just if it looks like too much we can always just turn around all right, we're heading up trail four, which is a black diamond. This is the one I got stuck in the snow on, on the 300. If it gets sketchy here, we see snow, we'll just turn around. I'll be surprised if there's still snow though, with how warm it's been. We just took a look at the map. I think I had the camera going the whole time. And it seems to be the only way to get to the hang glider is up this way. I don't think this trail is really very sketchy until you get past the hang glider Come on, don't me. into the rock garden area. Be nice to run some proper knobbies at some point. 
I'll have to keep a bike long enough to actually wear out a set of tires, I guess. Why does this thing run so high before it idles? There it goes. It's doing that every time. Anyone? Anyone? All right, hopefully no snow. If I see snow, I am turning around. I am optimistic that we're not gonna find any shit. This is steep. It's about time to dump this one too. Ugh. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, this is steep. Uh, let's see if I can get it up. That's what she said. <laughs> It's heavy. I just, yeah, I came to a stop and couldn't keep upright. I tried to hold the brake, but I was sliding backwards. Might be better to just keep trying to go up. If I hadn't stopped, I probably would have been okay, but as soon as I started sliding backwards, it was trouble. I see where they talk about tall bikes now, because if you're on flat ground, yeah. it's fine, but here, trying to get my foot down, yeah. that's a reach. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if I can even get it up right. Might have to pull it around. <sighs> Carb probably flooded a little bit. Made it. <laughs> Don's coming. He's a better rider than I. Nice. Good job. Yeah, once you once you lose momentum, it is no bueno. Keep going. Yeah, I, I just have to keep the momentum. It's once you stop, you get in trouble. This is gnarlier than I remember. 
I guess I didn't see it last time. So it was all covered in snow. One! Here we are. The hang glider. Look at that view, huh? We made it. That ramp's seen better days. I you did? I wow, Don helped uh, assemble this thing. Pretty cool. <laughs> Jeez, that guy's an animal. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh. There you go. leaving uh, hang glider hill heading back down the way we came we're gonna take the short route back down we could take four all the way back down to Copley but it's a long ways hopefully I don't dump it again going back down shit Picked a shitty line here. It's definitely a steep bitch. That's a huge bitch! Fuck sakes. Fuck. I do not like the steep shit. I definitely have a confidence mental barrier. I know this stuff would be easier if I just went faster, but I'm a chicken shit. You're a pussy. Oh, I just farted twice. Oh, you farted. No, it wouldn't be. It was the chair, right? First time going down the chute. Been up it plenty of times. But never down. Time to ford the river. It's getting easier as it starts to dry up. This is gonna send it. Sending it. Whoa! Whoa! Let's get some footage of Dawn. Here he comes. Oh no, foot down. He did it. All right. Fucking send it. Definitely getting better at that section. For the first few times out here, even that intimidated me a little. I'm out of breath. Shouldn't say intimidated me, it challenged me. The steep shit intimidates me. I gotta keep a good pace because I'm getting hot. I need the airflow. Oh, that feels good. Feels good when I go fast. I'm going fast again! Yeah! <laughs> this thing is running fantastic. I am a carb wizard. <laughs> You beat us! 
carburetor, that thing sure does run. <laughs> it's running pretty good now. Folks, I'm back. Not sure how much battery I have left. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Had an awesome ride with Don on a perfect day. Only dropped the bike once. <laughs> Definitely challenged myself a bit today, so that's good. Hopefully next time I hit that, I do a little better. And I'm really pleased that this bike is running so well again. So the battery will probably die at some point on the ride home, but uh, if you stuck around this long, thanks for watching. Hope to have the KTM back together this weekend and do some more content on that. So, thanks. See ya.